Hey, welcome back everyone. Thank you so much for stopping on by the Poké Science channel. Hopefully everyone's doing really well as we wave goodbye to the Great League, you guys. Um, I want to go ahead and do a quick announcement before I hop into this Ultra League prep video to get you guys all set up for the next two weeks. I just created my own Twitch account, you guys. Yeah, Poké Science Sam. So look me up and and i will be streaming a lot more from twitch going forward instead of youtube i think i'll still be doing some youtube live streams for sure um but i think i'll be testing out more twitch live streams in the future so if you can help me out by uh following me clicking the follow button on poker sign sam i'll leave a link of uh, my twitch page in the description and probably comment below and we, if you happen to be searching my name i think you have to add sam to the end of it oddly enough someone already owns pogo science that's very fishy <laughs> someone beat me to it for some reason and i'm at 10 followers now because i actually did live stream earlier today so i had a couple of viewers stop on by so thank you so much for those viewers that did stop on by um, so yeah, I'm going to shoot, a, shoot for a goal of 50 followers by the end of May, so that's a little bit of, uh, over a month from now, so let's see what I can do. Uh, brand new to Twitch, so just learning everything for the first time. So let's go ahead and hop into this pvpoke.com, getting you guys, guys all ready for Ultra League Premier Cup. So right here we'll see um, a lot of XL Pokemon. We have had another, what, full month for people to kind of farm up XL candies, and since the last update, I think we... Uh, Notice that some more XLs have um, been more prevalent in this meta and we have uh, now be able to get XL candies from walking. So a lot of, pe a lot of people will have these Galarian Stunfists now as more time expires. It's going to be more and more common for people to have XL Galarian Stunfists. And of course it's number one on this cup just like it's pretty high up for a Great League as well. And why? Because it does so well against kind of like those odd Pokemon. Like it's good against a Charmer, it's good against a Poison type, good against an Electric type, good against a Water type, good against a, a Dragon type. So it's, it's kind of weird. It's like a rainbow, right? Uh, the one thing you have to be kind of concerned about is that the fact that it loses to the three Pokemon that I feel are, you know, the most common starters. You will be seeing Venusaur, Swampert, Charizard. And it actually loses to all three, which is a little bit alarming, but it does so well against everyone else. So if you are able to counter these three, which it isn't that hard, uh, a dragon technically could counter all three. So you have a dragon paired up with a Galarian XL Stunfist. You can do really well with that tandem, you guys. And then we have a Shadow Obama Snow, one of my personal favorites. And I've been working very hard on trying to get enough XLs for it. Just not enough Snowbirds in the wild right now during this uh, springtime. But as you see right here, beats Venusaur, Swampert. Kind of like Stunfist, it has a really good wide array of Pokemon it beats. Uh, like a Grass-type, Water-type, Dragons, Charmers. It does really well. The only Pokemon it really struggles against, I think mostly are going to be your uh, your Steel, uh, Fire, and your Fighters. So essentially, uh, Bomb is still taking double super effective damage from Fire. It has a lot of weaknesses on the surface, but... Um, you don't see a ton of flying or poison or bug moves, so in, especially in the um, in the in the Ultra League, and the same with Steel types, uh, Steel type uh, charge moves. You don't really see a ton of that either, or fast moves. So you most likely would be fine. You're actually is in a better shape resisting uh, Water, Grass, and Electric, which I feel are more common in this meta. And we keep on going right down along the line, and we see XL Jellicent, you guys. XL Jellicent is going to be a thing. Because a lot of people have been playing GBL, you, you get those frillish uh, uh, catches pretty often for winning three games in a set, right? And I think it always yields those XL candies, so th this will definitely be a more common Pokemon this time around, opposed to the first time around. And, and throughout this entire video, I'm going to tell you guys some of the differences between Ultra League Part 2 compared to the one that we faced uh, a month ago. Because there are some changes, you guys, some changes to the meta. And you see XL Jellison right here, does really well against Swampert Charizard. And Polion, so it does really well overall against the water types. Um, and then, of course, it does really well against any fighters as well. Very unique typing of ghosts and water. I think Jellicent is going to be very, very strong in this cup if you can have enough XL candies for it. XL Mandiba is a Pokemon I personally have been working on, so stay tuned for that. Um, a Pokemon that I think will be very interesting for this cup will be Ninetales. The loan form, we saw a ton of those in the Great League. A lot of people gain more experience playing with the loan nine tails, which is a huge, huge thing for for this meta. Um, as you see right here, the so well against, of course, you know the the dragons, and then it, it actually it says ice type that can beat a fighter. It's a it, it can beat Venusaur, of course. Um, it just can do a lot of damage, you guys, especially XL form. I don't know uh, if there were any really. Uh, common Vulpix nest out there or not, but some people might have been able to grind for some XLs. So be on the lookout for that. 
Uh, as you keep on going right down the line, we see Excels just littered all over the place. With Galvantula, I think a lot of people have been running more Galvantula in the last Ultra League than I've ever seen before. Um, Berserker is pretty common now. Um, Lapras. Uh, Bronzong is one of those Pokemon, you guys, that got a new move. And they're on the list now. They rose up on this list. Bronzong, XL, running Confusion, Psyshock, and Payback. And Payback will be um, probably not super important. There's not a lot of Pokemon in this meta that actually are weak to to dark in my opinion you won't see a ton of pure psychic types like a Gallade would be a psychic slash fighter so you're actually taking neutral damage a pokemon like a gengar will make sense i i, I suppose uh, especially having payback because both the other moves will not be doing a ton of da actually you know confusion and psychic will also be doing super track damage so there you go so that's why i don't think bronzong will actually um really the new move payback really doesn't change anything i, I would be more curious to see how bronzong would do in the open ultra league and cradle the xl i want to give a shout out to generation x pvp for this because he's the one that brought this to uh, pv pokes attention through a twitter post i believe and they added cradle the up here and look at how well it does you guys it beats those double um it pretty much destroys Empoleon double steel right you see right here <laughs> running bullet seed stone edge and grass knot just does a ton of damage it has a really unique typing of rock and grass making only a weak to steel ice fighting a bug um and like we mentioned earlier bug and steel is not a very common move set for, for pokemon in this meta so you're really just looking out for fighting and ice uh, resisting normal and electric, not a ton of resistances either, unfortunately, for this Pokemon. But overall, it just does really well at taking neutral damage. Recreatively, is a very expensive Pokemon to make, so if you are going to go for it, keep in mind that it is still ranked number 35. But it can definitely uh, surprise a lot of people out there. Uh, another Pokemon that's new, you guys, completely new, is Dragalge. Yeah, it's a dragon type that's also poison so it's really interesting because a lot of the dragon types we've been seeing are dragon water or dragon flying so but this one actually will be resisting all the elementals it's double resisting grass as a bonus resisting water which is in fire resisting electric the poison typing resisting the bug poison and fighting um you have to watch out of course against other dragons but if you're up against another dragon you're also dealing super effective damage to that right back in his face <laughs> so you also have to watch out for ground ice and psychic which is common to a certain extent ground a little bit less in my opinion especially from a fast move perspective ice a little bit from lapras and from bomb of snow psychic a little bit from uh Gallade. but overall drug Dragalge is a very interesting pick for this cup and I think Dragalge um, does not max out close to 2500. I think it maxes out closer to 3000 if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Someone correct me on that if in the comment section. Um, so you may not actually need to have Excel candies for it. So if you want to test it out, definitely do it. I will see if I have enough candies for it. I've been grinding and grinding but just have not been finding enough of those scrubs to make one. Um, so yeah, so there you go, you guys. This is just a quick uh, Ultra League update. I want to show you guys this list. I think it's a pretty cool list of Pokemon. I think the meta is a little more wide open now that there's Excels. I'm very curious to see what Pokemons rise up in the ranks throughout the first week. Uh, but definitely take advantage of all these little tips I've provided. Uh, because taking advantage of the first couple of days of a uh, league can be huge for your ELO score. Before people start to identify exactly what the meta looks like, if you have a really strong team, and it's really on top of the, the metagame early in the league, you can do a lot of damage, you guys. Oh, one other Pokemon before I, we say goodbye, I want to go ahead and show you guys Superior, um, another one of those new Pokemon, right, that have Frenzy Plant. Uh, as you see right here, the XL actually does uh, pretty well, uh, and you will need XL candies, I believe, for Superior to do well in this meta. But overall, I think Venusaur is a better way to go. Uh, Venusaur, of course, weight rated a lot higher. It has a very similar moveset. In, instead of Aero Ace, it has Sludge Bomb, which I think Sludge Bomb actually has a little more use than Aero Ace. Uh, of course, Aero Ace will be super effective damage against Machamps, but I believe someone told me that Frenzy Plant still does more damage than Aero Ace. So it makes me wonder what Aero Ace really is for. Um, maybe Aero Ace does super effective damage and Frenzy Plant's resisted. That's the only situation where you would actually prefer Aero Ace. So maybe it's one of those situations now that you may actually rather go with Leafs Tornado, just like a lot of people are doing in the, in the Great League. So thank you so much, you guys, for stopping by the YouTube channel. I appreciate it so much. And if you like this video, please drop a like, comment, subscribe. It'll make my day, you guys, for Public Science. Um, and once again, please follow me on Twi uh, Twitch, and I'll be doing more live streams. I'll be streaming my next live stream next week um, on Twitch. So if you follow along, you'll be notified when that will be happening. So thanks so much once again, and uh, hopefully everyone out there have an amazing Ultra League. Take care.